what is up everybody uh i hope i have enough battery for video and pictures tonight but uh tonight i'm gonna get out again and do some more herping well here's the first um videoed bullfrog of the night uh i saw a few other ones but they uh jumped in the water before i could get video of them They have really pretty eyes. That frog you're hearing is a green frog. I usually don't hear them calling like that. They usually just go grr once, but they're calling. In, they're calling. If I, if you can hear it over the car. They're calling in a, a bursts. That's pretty cool. If I can get a picture of one, I'll add it in here. I'm gonna try to see if I can spot one of them. You can hear them. This is cool. There's some sort of dragonfly asleep in the tree right here. I'm going to see if he'll let me get him out without him flying off. Well, here we have a frog party. This is a uh, southern leopard frog. Right here we have a bronze frog, which is a subspecies of the green frog. Uh, instead of being instead of being green, they're more of a bronze orange, a bronze brown color. So this is pretty cool. This is a, a southern leopard frog that still has its uh, tail from uh, its tadpole stage. It's uh, not fully developed yet, but that's really cool. I very rarely see this. Here's a green tree frog, Hylocynre. This is a very common frog here. Uh, this is the same pond I was in last night. Hoping to find that snapping turtle. Right here is another bullfrog. Oh, well. Nice oh, to there. We have another dragonfly coming out of its larva. This one might be a blue basher, judging by the judging by the red eyes. Well, this is something I was hoping to see tonight. This is a uh, Luna Moth, Actaeus Luna. Um, I'm gonna try to get a picture of his face because I love getting up closes of the moth's face and I I'll put that picture in here. This one I'd like to point out is a uh, female. Um, how I can tell, when I get the picture of his face, when, when I get the picture of her face, you'll see that females have really, really small antennas Well, this is a really cool find. This is a Mediterranean house gecko, Hemodactylus turkicus. They're also called the Turkish gecko. They're, a, they're an invasive species in many parts of the world, including here. But uh, they don't really cause any problems. But they're called house geckos because you'll sometimes find them in their house. Well, I'm going to get a couple photos of this guy and I'm going to let him go. What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna get out and do some more herping. So I'll let y'all know what I find.
As you can see, we really need some rain. There's a, a lot of the spots where I find frogs are uh, now dried up. This is an eastern eyed click beetle. Sorry. Now there's always some turtles sitting out here in this pond. The problem is I can't get too close to them or else they go off in the water. So I'm gonna try to catch my camera. Actually, they're not even out there. Never mind. Well, here's the first snake of the day. A black racer. Calubra constrictor. Believe me or not, this is a snake I don't see very often. He's gorgeous, too. I'm gonna get some... Oh, shit, he just bit the camera. Wow. I'm gonna get some photos of him. So, believe me or not, I actually don't see black racers very often. This is only the fifth one I think I've found in my life. Don't foul like the black racer. So everyone, I was trying to get pictures of that black racer and he actually jumped off the ground and bit me in the face. Now, it's not the snake's fault at all because I provoked it, but you have to respect them. And sometimes they catch you off guard. And that was a really big snake too. Okay, this is the pond I've been to the past couple nights. Uh, I'm gonna look here in the daytime now. Um, I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can because there's a, scrap, there's a scrap yard right behind this pond and there's all kinds of noises, so I'll let, I don't know if i find anything. Well everyone, I didn't really see a whole lot, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add today's episode in with tonight's and just make it one episode. So um, I will see y'all tonight and thank you for watching. Hello everyone, um, when you saw me last is when I found that black racer because after that I didn't really see anything so I'm gonna edit uh, this afternoon and tonight's uh, herping trip together in one episode so I'll let y'all know if I find anything well here's the second snake of the night this is a plain belly water snake you can see that because their belly is a, a plain orange color it doesn't really have any pattern to it uh, let me get a close up on his head they're actually banded when they're younger, but as they get older, they lose their banding. This one's actually not very big. So, uh, it is a young adult. And, uh, I'm not quite sure how big they have to get before they lose their bands. But as you can see, I mean... As you saw, it wasn't really that big, so I'm not quite sure how old they are when they lose their bands. But that's neat. First, uh, well, first snake of the night, second snake of the day. Here's my next snake of the night. This is a, a juvenile Midland water snake. It's pretty cool because uh, it's actually been a while since I've seen a, just a juvenile water snake in general. Uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get a video of his, uh, I'm gonna try to get up close of his head. Yeah, this is, a, again, a very common species, but it has been a, it has been a minute since I've seen a juvenile one. Well, that's the second snake of the night and the third snake of the day, so I'm doing pretty good so far. Well, this is the most brightly... This is the most bronze looking bronze frog I think I've ever seen. Sorry for the buzzing, there's a beetle just buzzing around my light. But yeah, bronze frog, Lithobates clonitans clonitans. Pretty cool, it's a subspecies of the green frog of course. But he's very bronze. Well, this is another cool find, this is a southern leopard frog, Lithobates phenocephalus. 
This might actually be the same one I saw the other night at the creek. I don't know. But uh, usually they're more spotted than this, so these are pretty cool one. Let's see if I find anything else. Now I'm headed to the pond where uh, we saw that black racer earlier today. I don't think I'll be here tonight, but uh, there, I usually find plain belly water snakes in here, so we'll see what I can find. Well, here's my next find of the night. This is a juvenile yellow bellied slider. Pretty cool. That's not the lighting. He's actually that dull. I th thought it could have been a red eared slider, but he didn't have a red ear. So this is pretty cool. Uh, see if I can find something else. So this is pretty cool. This is a uh, giant leopard moth caterpillar, Hypercompes grabonia. A lot of people think they sting, but I mean, they're harmless. See, I'm, I'm touching it, it ain't really, they can poke you, but other than that, they're harmless. Pretty cool. I'll show you what moth they turn into. These are some green tree frogs. You can hear them calling all around me. So, meat mat, meat mat is the green tree frog. That deep mumbling sound is a bullfrog. The is a gray tree frog. But, uh, they're in a mating stance, but I don't, I don't know if they're actually mating or not. But, uh, this is pretty cool. They're really hard to catch on video trying to call because usually as soon as you put a light on them they move. This is a uh, either a bullfrog or a green frog. Uh, it's still mostly a tadpole. You can see it has a really big tail. That is pretty cool. I saw I saw a leopard frog of these last night, so that's pretty cool. This is a juvenile American bullfrog. I've been seeing a lot of these, I just haven't filmed any. But I mean, he is super tiny.